Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited because in the last video I shared with you guys a gorgeous wig called Alexa and Alexa is a really long sexy curly wig. She's a monofilament wig, she's amazing, she's sexy, she's classy, she's sassy. You can wear it up, you can wear it down, she's just a beautiful wig and I shared her with you in four different colours. And she's from the amazing company, Godira Secret Wigs. Now, in that video, I spoke about an alternative. So, if you're after a monofilament wig, but you're looking for a straight option, something still long that's got va va voom and that sex appeal and something gorgeous that comes in a range of wonderful colours, then Rachel is such a stunning wig. And I'm really blessed and grateful that I've got three of Rachel wigs to show you today. Now, I have reviewed these wigs separately in the wig reviews playlist before, but today I'm going to show you all in one video so you can see the difference in the colours. So the colours I've got Rachel in, I've got her in a beautiful red, which is called Sangria R, and it's a rooty red, very pretty. I've got it in Vanilla Bean Blonde. Again, it's a rooted blonde wig, but it's very pretty. And I've got it in a gorgeous, I think it's cinnamon toast or chocolate kiss. Let me check. I've got it in um, chocolate kiss R, which is a really gorgeous brunette colour. Very rich, very, you know, just intoxicating. These colours are stunning. So the wig I'm wearing right now is Thin Candies. This is one of my favourite wigs. This is really my go-to wig. I wear this wig all the time on my other channel, Guided by Angels. And you can see me wearing this there. And if you love Thin Candies, you know, this colour is ginger brown. Again, it's by Godira Secret Wigs. It's a machine-teased wig. It's not got a lace front. I think Rachel has. But it gives it that body. And it's just stunning. You know, it doesn't take much maintenance, even though it's a long wig, you know, you brush it through a few times and it's ready to go. It doesn't get matted or tangled. So I can really recommend Thin Candies. And, you know, if you want to see more about this wig, go to the reviews. And, you know, I've cut this wig up too. I've got four in this particular colour. I've cut a long, like a, a big bang in one and I've cut the length to about there. I've cut little bang in one. You know, I just love this wig. I love doing things to this wig too. But if you're after something that doesn't sit as high, because, you know, the thing with Candice is she's got all this machine tease. So, you, you know, you can make it big if you want to, or you can flatten the whole look down. You know, this is my go-to wig. It's very beautiful. You know, it's very natural looking. But Rachel may give you what you're looking for, because I'm going to bring in the chocolate kiss one. So I'm going to show you as well. So first of all, yeah, I'm just checking I've got the right wig out here. So if I put it the right way around here, get the front there. First of all, you can see that it's a shorter wig than Candy. So I'm not doing a compare video. I'm just showing you the difference. And it's a monofilament wig. So you see my fingers poking through there. That gives it the effect of scalp. Now, Candy's doesn't have that. So when I take this wig off in a moment, I'll show you the difference between Rachel and Candy's Because when they're on, you know, they're quite similar Apart from the fact that Rachel is flatter to the head because of a monofilament. But look at the gorgeous colour. So you can see you've got this routine and it's all the way through the wig, you know, not just at the root. It makes it very natural. And it's just got this gorgeous kind of chocolate kiss, like the chocolate's been kissed by something. It's beautiful. And honestly, the, the feel of the hair on these wigs, on all of the wigs, it's just amazing. You know, it's synthetic hair. But it just feels so nice, you know, it's just natural and silky and the way you feel when you step out of the salon. You know, my opinion, all the wigs I've tried, the Natural Image wigs, the Raquel Welsh wigs, even the Ellen Villa wigs, the Godiva Secret wigs beat them all, in my opinion, because of the way they feel and the way they look on the head and the colours and the vava voom factor. And it gives me what I need and that's the... I've just stepped out of a salon. You know, maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want something that looks a bit more, you know, like human hair. And that's why you decide to go for a human hair wig or something like a Raquel Welsh that gets more matty. But, you know, I personally do really recommend and love and enjoy the Godiva Secret Wigs. So let me show you in the cap first of all. So I'm going to show you in the cap. It's not really about... 
the review itself i've already done this this is like an extra video but you can see on rachel she's got all these breathable weftings at the back there and all of godira's wigs come with a label so you know where the back is so it's very easy to put on and rachel has bra strap style adapters at the back to loosen or tighten the wig to suit your head you know i don't personally really mess with them at all but sometimes, you know, if I'm going somewhere and I want to tighten them up, I can. And it gives you that option. But for me, I sew wig clips into all of my wigs to secure my wig. So you can see it's got a pre-cut lace front. So you don't need to mess around cutting the lace on these wigs. It's already done for you. And you've got this big piece of monofilament. So this is the lace front here. And this is the monofilament. And it gives it that natural scalp effect which means you can part it anywhere and it's still going to look like the scalp. Very beautiful. So if I take Candice off to show you, and I've had this wig on all day, where I take her off and turn her inside out, I'm going to show you the difference between a machine teased and a monofilament. So the machine teased, as you can see, looks a lot different. So this is the monofilament that gives it that scalp effect. And this is the machine tease that gives it the fuller effect. You know, it's still got the same weftings and everything else, the bra strap adapters, but it's just the machine teased. It's got no lace front, but you can see me in it then and it still looks very natural. Still a very stunning wig. So we're going to put Rachel on then. So I'm going to start with the chocolate one and, you know, look again at, you know, the scalp effect on this very, very pretty, gorgeous wig. So I've sewn two wig clips in at the front. I haven't gone near the lace. I've gone on the monofilament there. So I'm just going to unclip them and all of Godiva's wigs come with a very comfortable pair of ear tabs and they are to straighten the wig up but also to align it and to make it look more natural to the face. So you get your thumbs at the back of the wig where the label is, you put the front of the wig about there and you're going to pull it on very quick and then you're going to grab the two side tab tabs, straighten them up and then lift the wig up to your hairline. So let me show you. I'm going to flip it up i'm going to get them to my hairline i'm sorry get them to i'm going to even the tab should i say like this and you can see the lace front look how natural it is without me even lifting it up and then i'm going to lift it up a little bit to my hairline i'm just going to use the mirror because you know with it being monofilament yeah it's about there just want to make sure i get it right so it doesn't look a bit odd on camera and clip it in now i mean look at this first of all look how natural rachel looks and i haven't even done anything to it yet look how stylish the wig is and how lustrous the hair is and now it's just naturally moving around and oh it's just gorgeous wig you know whenever i put these wigs on i think why aren't i wearing this more you know i mean obviously i absolutely adore my candy wig and that's my go-to wig that's the one i just love wearing but to go out and about, Rachel is the one. I've worn the Sangria one so much. You know, that's kind of my go-to Rachel wig. But you're going to see the difference. So you can part it wherever you want. Now, I tend to find that Rachel does want to part over on the left side. So I just take a little minute to use my fingers. I mean, you can see I don't even need to use a brush on this wig. And this is how it comes because the hair is just so gorgeous. It's not matting up. You know, no, no again, nothing against Raquel Welsh wigs, but in my opinion, you know, if I put a Raquel Welsh wig on right now, I'd have to spend a good few minutes using my brush to really brush out the knots and, you know, to get it wearable, especially if I was going out in it. But Rachel, I mean, it's just, oh, it just feels amazing. She's just amazing. And you can clip it back. You can put it in a pony. There's many things you can do. You can... Put the side bit behind your ear if you want to. If you want to wear it like that, there's a lot you can do. But I just love it au naturel. And you know, you could cut bang into this if you want. But you can see how flat to the head it is. You've also got that look of the monofilament. So it's very natural. So I'm going to show you first of all with the mirror. So look at this colour chocolate kiss. Oh, it's stunning. Very, very natural. You know, I'm sure you look at this wig thinking, wow, Liz, that's amazing on you. Because I am a natural brunette, so, you know, these type of colours suit me a little bit better sometimes. Or maybe look a little bit natural on me. So this is Rachel from the side. And Rachel from the back. 
Look at that gorgeous movement there. Ah, and Rachel from this side. So very, very pretty wig. Now, I'm going to show you Candice. Okay, so I'm going to bring Candice back. And I'm not putting it on, just so you know the difference. So I'm just going to get Candice as if she's ready to wear. And I'm going to show you from the side. So you can see the difference. If I was wearing Candice like that, you know, the machine teasness of this wig and the height and the difference between Candice and Rachel. You know, but again, very, very beautiful. And the reason why Candice may look a little bit matty there is just because she's ready for a wash, okay? That's all it is. I'm going to wash her very, very soon, in fact. So, yeah, watch this space. She's ready for a wash. I've been wearing her constantly, you know, and she's ready for a wash. So, Rachel in Chocolate Kiss Art. Now, I'm going to grab... Let's see. Yeah, I've put the red one on because it's similar. So we're going to go with Rachel and Sangria on. Now, I wear this wig a lot. If I'm going out anywhere to an event or something, I've worn this wig. I've even worn this wig and I've had a bit of a nightmare in it because I went to see um, a tribute band to like all the 80s retro music, kind of like um, Duran Duran. And, and it, right at the end, I was on the front row and right at the end, they like, you know, they light up all the sparklers. And I was looking up and something come out of one of those sparkles and went to my eye. And I had to run out of the, the kind of, you know, the auditorium thing. And I run out and I had to go around to the bar and I had to dump my head in the sink and wash all my eye out. And my wig was soaked. So a bit of drama in Rachel as well. But, you know, redheads go through some drama sometimes. So she's stunning. I mean, look at the colour difference. You know, if you want a red, this is gorgeous, sangria or beautiful. Again, you've got all the routine. I have done a review video on this one as well. You can go and check it out. Exactly the same inside, but I'm going to try her on and show you. So I'm going to take off. Look at that lace front, you know, totally natural, totally natural. As long as you make sure you get it in the right place. The difference between a machine teased long wig and a monofilament long wig when you put them on is that when you put on the machine tease wig, it does stay where you put it. Whereas the monofilament one, because it's lighter, will automatically try and rise up. So you just have to make sure that you're putting it in the right place. That's the only thing you have to do, especially if, you know, you're wearing this out and about, make sure you are using it with a wig grip band or you're sewing in your wig clips to make it stay in place. So if you don't want to put anything on, you know, if you don't want to, so any wig clips in or wear a wig grip band, you're probably going to be better off with a machine teased wig than a monofilament one because they do kind of, you know, like snug into your head a bit more. So let me show you what I mean. It's just easier to show you what I mean. So, for example, when I put Rachel on now, I'm tucking the back in. I'm flipping it up. See how it started rising up? If Candice was on, she'd be here still. So I'm getting the ear tabs and I'm straightening them up first of all. And I'm pulling my hair in, putting my hair in, and I'm flattening them down. And look at this lace front. Look how natural it is, considering it's a red. And you're going to see it even more on the vanilla bean because it's a blonde. And you've got all this gorgeous roof scene and all this gorgeous red. So I'm going to lift it up to my hairline. You can see there where my hairline is. It's about there. And I'm going to make sure I've got it right. And I'm going to clip my clips in. Remember, they are very easy to sew in. I've done videos on that. I mean, look at this wig stunning rachel is an absolute stunner and like i say i've worn it out and about so many times so i'm going to grab my brush for this because she has been out and about so you know and again i could use my fingers but because i want you to see the sleekness of this and i mean she doesn't take much at all as you can see and the gorgeousness and i've done a compare video between this one and scene stealer in the raquel welsh and you know, my opinion, this one is the, the better wig because it's just low maintenance. You know, whereas the other one, it's gorgeous colour, it's a gorgeous style, but it's quite high maintenance. You know, you have to brush it a lot. And I know it might seem like right now I'm brushing it a lot, but only because, you know, it's just kind of been sitting in the drawer and I have worn it, you know, since the last time I showed it and I've been out in here. So look at this. And I've washed this a few times. She's gorgeous. She's washed very well. You know, she's really pretty. As I said, I got her really wet when 
I had to dunk my head in the sink, which was, you know, all good fun. The theatre staff there, the bar staff were like, what is this woman doing? You know, what is she doing? And if they knew I've got a wig on or not, I've got no idea. But look at this luscious colour, sangria, oh, beautiful, gorgeous red. And, you know, you'll find with the monofilament wigs, the sangria is the red they do. Okay, if you're getting a red in a monofil um, in a machine teased one like Candice, the one Candice, it's chestnut or, you know, phase Irish spice or red spice. Those are the colours they do. Whereas it's sangria in um, the mono. And, you know, there's a very similar wig to this that's shorter called London. Oh, I love London. I've got London in, in colours too, you know, in this colour too. She's gorgeous. So if you love this wig, and I know you do because I do, this is Sangria R, Rachel. Gorgeous. Look at that colour. Look. And, you know, the fact that he's got this darker root. I mean, you, may, you might not like that, but I really do because it makes it so natural. Plus the fact that, you know, if you've been a redhead, and I have many times, it was kind of my go-to hair colour at one point. You know, all I did was dye my hair red. And, you know, it's very hard to keep your red in because... Couple of days, you already get your roots coming through and it starts fading. So the fact that this has kind of got that root there, not only is it really good for like people who are natural blondes who want to go this colour or, you know, if you want to try something out, it's good because it shows, you know, that it is natural because that's what red does. It grows out quickly. And, you know, if the wind blew, you know, this is my natural hair colour here. You know, it would look totally natural because of the rooting all the way through the wig. Very, very clever, especially with the blondes, which you're going to see in a minute. So this is the gorgeous side Sangria R. Rachel. And from the back, gorgeous and love it. So obviously, you know, I love the Chocolate Kiss one and I do like the blonde one, but this is kind of my go-to one. So if I was going to go out right now and I had to choose a Rachel, or if you said, okay, you can only keep one, this would be the one, without a shadow of a doubt. It's just gorgeous. And then I've also got her in Vanilla Bean R. Now, this is a really pretty blonde. I showed this in Alexa, and, you know, I really enjoyed wearing Alexa in the last video in this colour. So this is a gorgeous beach wave blonde, you know, like a beachy blonde. You know, it reminds me a lot of Baywatch, the show. Can you remember that when they used to run along the beach? Look at the rooting all the way through the wig. Very clever. Makes it look very natural, very pretty. You know, it's just gorgeous. So exactly the same wig, you know, but in vanilla bean blonde. So I'm going to take Rachel off in red, which I really don't want to do. But, you know, got to take her off. Got to take her off. So I'm going to turn her inside out. Whenever I'm storing the wigs, you know, I just turn them inside out. I grab the bag that it's come in. Godiva Secret Wigs provide this amazing big bag. Lots of room in there. And I put them in. And, you know, the thing about the way you store them in these bags, it's really good for travel. You know, I've had a little case completely full of wigs just like this. Whereas if you're storing them in boxes, it takes up lots of room. So these are also really good. You know, I've got like a pull-out canvas kind of drawer stand and I've actually done a little video about that too and I just put them all in there so I've got four of them now I only started off with one and now I've got four and you know I just pull them out and I label all my wigs so like this is Rachel and Sangria are so I know exactly what it is like this one's Rachel and Vanilla Bean are so I'm not messing around going through my wigs and trying to find a wig you know so I know exactly where it is when I want it and I know what colour it's in very clever. So just a little tip there. So I'm going to unclip the clips and we're going to put her on again. So just very simple. Find the tabs. And you'll see the difference of me wearing a blonde wig. Lift it up to my hairline. Again, look at the natural hairline considering it's a blonde and I'm a brunette. Very beautiful. I'm going to clip her in there. And, you know, again, look at this. You know, she's kind of ready to go. So you can see the cleverness of the darker root because with me being a natural brunette if my hair is shown it looks totally natural I mean that may not look totally natural but the point I'm making is you know if my hair the wind blows it still looks natural because of the root so people would have to kind of really think about it is that a wig and who cares anyway you know who cares 
you know, if you've naturally brunette and you've always wanted to be a blonde, then get your wig on, ladies, you know, it's what it's all about. So I don't really need to, as you can see, mess around with this one because she it's not as worn as my red one. You can see that straight away. So you see that, you know, that one's been washed, it's been worn, it's been out and about, and it just needs a little bit of a brush, whereas this one hasn't been out as much, so I don't really need to do anything to it. You know, look how naturally it is, and look how easy, you know, it kind of falls around, you know, the face, and I don't really have to do anything to it. That's the thing I love about Rachel. She may take a little bit of coaxing when you first get her, you know, to just pull her over where you want it, or, you know, part it where you want it. Again, you can part this anywhere, but it does tend to want to part on the left side. So I'm going to show you, first of all, with the mirror, look at that blonde. Stunning. Look at the roots. You know, you'd never know it was a wig. There's, it's honestly it's so clever how they do these wigs. And this is from the side. Look at that. I love the roots. And from the back, movement. And from this side. So very, very pretty wig. So this is Vanilla Bean R, which is a Vanilla Bean Blonde and it's a rooted. So R means rooted. So very, very pretty. Then they do do Rachel and non-rooted. I can't remember if they do, but I've only got the three. So, you know, I really love this colour. And, you know, another favourite colour of mine in these monofilament wigs is English Toffee. And I, I want to get that. Shall we have a look together? Let me have a look on the website. So say if you're looking at this wig right now and you're thinking, wow, Liz, that's gorgeous. I really want to buy it. So what do you do? So, first of all, you know, you go over to Godiva Secret Wigs. So, if I go on to my channel, bear with me a second because I've got three YouTube channels. So, okay, I'm on Wigs with Liz right now. So, I go over to my About page, um, my channels page, should I say. So, you're on the top of my channel and you've got Godiva Secret Wigs. Oh, you can't see for the light, but you've got Godiva Secret Wigs. So, you click on them. And then you go to their about page and you click on their website, goodirisecretwigs.com, and it brings everything up. So if I type into the search bar, Rachel, and I type that in there, then you've got, yeah, the mono one. So the one without roots is dark chocolate. So let me see if I can bring it up. So they do it in dark chocolate. That's the only colour they do that isn't rooted. And then in the rooted colours... They do black licorice, which is very dark, butternut R, chocolate kiss R, cinnamon toast R, English toffee R, sangria R, and vanilla bean R. And the butternut, if I show you that one, is coming up like that. You can just about see it's because of the lighting. So, but if you go on their website, you'll be able to see. Very, very beautiful these wigs are, and you know, gorgeous. And I really do want it as well in cinnamon toast. But I've been a good girl this year and I haven't really ordered anything just yet. So because I have got so many to share and show with you, but I have got the bug and I want more. But isn't this gorgeous? So, you know, if you're after a long blonde wig and something really stylish and classy, something very natural looking, something that's going to blow your mind when you wear it. If you've never had a blonde before, I can really recommend Rachel. And, you know, if you don't like these bits, you can either cut a bang in or you grab a bit like this. And you can put it behind your ear and it just keeps the fringe or the bang, you know, this long piece of hair out of the way. So don't let that put you off if you think, oh, I love the wig, but it's around your face a little bit. You get used to it, it doesn't bother you, you know, but you can easily do that or you can clip it back or do whatever you want to. But she's just such a great wig. So Rachel Wig from Godira Secret Wigs in three colours, the gorgeous Chocolate Kiss, the gorgeous Vanilla Bean Art and the gorgeous Sangria, all in rooty colours. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.